Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. If you are new here, my name is Hillary and I have four children and a smaller than average home. I tackled our kitchen just a few months ago and I did a whole video just about the kitchen, but I wanted to go around to some other areas of the home that really needed some attention and we're going to tackle it together. So I'm inviting you to declutter with me. Take a bag, take a box and go around your home as well and see if there are some things that you can declutter and just make breathing room in your home, make room for new things that come in, bless others with the things that you are letting go of. And I like to sometimes set a number, like I'm gonna declutter 20 things right now, or I'm gonna declutter 50 things right now. For today's video, I'm not setting a number, I just want to see spaces more cleared out, but if you want to set a number and that motivates you, do it. So grab a bag or a box and come along with me as I declutter our whole house. The first thing I grabbed when I started this declutter is this donation box that I keep in my closet. You can see here it's filled with just random things and I have that all the time to add to whenever I come across something I don't need. And then I grabbed a garbage bag for donations and my garbage can to go through these baskets on our built-ins. We keep a lot of random things in here, so with my coffee in hand, I went ahead and got started on seeing what was even in here and what I could get rid of. The main things that we keep in these baskets are like kids' crafts and things like that, like. I cleared out this container because it was full of dried up markers and honestly, markers just, we're not in that phase of life. I have toddler and a baby and markers are just trouble for us. So I get rid of that. I get rid of these old dot markers, some old dried up paints. My kids are, have access to so many craft supplies at school, at church, at you know grandma's house and friend's house. So there's just certain things I don't keep in our house just to you know keep my sanity. Uh, I found a bunch of pens, so I brought those back to the kitchen. And you can see here I completely emptied out a basket, so that was great. And then these next two, again, it's kind of random things. The one basket closest to us is where I keep art projects and things my kids write that I want to hold on to. And then the other one was just random things that I could declutter. Things like electronics, like these headphones. I had three different pairs, so I went ahead and purged one of them, but the other two I kept for two different purposes. And then those were able to be put back. And then this bin, again, I had another pencil case that we didn't need. We will restock all fresh school supplies in September, so I just held on to the crayons and then the rest of these electronics I did pull out anything that didn't belong but the rest of it I was able to hold on to. This basket and cabinet are a very high traffic area for us so I really wanted to thin this out and just keep what the kids are actually using. And then I went ahead and just put everything back together, put aside my headphones and my charger that I use a lot when I'm working at the computer and I know that they have a spot in that basket. These two drawers in our kitchen, I consider our utility drawers. I don't really like the term junk drawer because I really do try to keep only what we're actually using. But again, it is like that random drawer where you need pens and scissors and tape and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to go through all these papers and notebooks, anything that was used up, I got rid of and just all the little bits. Anytime I come across things that the kids you know, have left around, I put them in here and then periodically I have to go through and clean that out. I cleaned up the actual little organizer here itself. Then I organized everything, all the pens together, all the pencils together, all the paintbrushes, things like that. You can see the pencils. I went ahead and sharpened all of them. We have a pencil sharpener in our pantry. So I wanted to put them back all freshly sharpened. You can see we have a lot of paintbrushes. My kids do a lot of crafting. So I like having all that accessible to them and all put together nicely. And then I just tidied up the rest of the space and put everything kind of like with like and that feels so much better. And then this drawer is sort of like a tool drawer, which maybe is odd for a kitchen, but this is something we've always done, have a tool drawer in the kitchen. So I tidied that up, and then anything that did have another home somewhere else, I went ahead and brought those where they belonged right then and there. 
So here's how they were looking after so much tidier, so much easier to find what we're looking for when we need it. I like layering my planner and my meal planner on top of this little organizer. And then in the tool drawer, that little blank space is for our tape measure, but otherwise everything was nice and tidy. Up next is our storage room. This, I'm quite embarrassed at how bad it is, but this is just real life. This used to be really neat and organized and it has totally gotten out of control. So I have about an hour to work on this. I hope it doesn't take me that full hour, but there's definitely like some broken things that need to be taken care of. Honestly, I have no idea what's in that black bag, some work things, just, you know, the normal, normal everyday life of throwing things aside when you don't want to deal with them. This back here was a failed toy rotation system that we were trying with the kids. So we're going to see what we can do in here. Although I have four kids, I by no means am an expert on dealing with kids toys and like their personal items. It's honestly something that I kind of struggle with. I want them to respect their things and take care of them and you know appreciate what they have but the reality is we live in a world where things are so easy to come by and at some point they just have too much and it is overwhelming for them to care for that many items so it is something that we work on together and you can see like i said my toy rotation system kind of failed and it is something that we will continue to work on. If you have any tips, leave them down below. You seasoned mamas that know better than me, I would love to hear from you. And then in this clip, I am just tidying up our Easter things that never got put away properly. And I wanted to just keep everything in this one bin. So whatever wasn't fitting, I just went ahead and donated, took out this little basket that we really don't need and so that I could fit it all in this one spot. So I got this, yeah, a ball. You see that ball up there? It's a pumpkin. So I got this area cleaned up. This feels so good. We can actually walk once I get all these things out of here. All that's going. We actually have a walking space. And when I was cleaning back here in our storage space, I found another full trash bag of things that I had purged and never actually donated. The table we need to get rid of, all the legs broke, unfortunately. And then the chairs, some of them are broken, so that will probably go. Luggage I do usually store back there, but we're gonna be using it again, so I'm just gonna leave it there. But this bag is trash. I filled this bag and another bag there of donations. That's a bag that I found that I had put down here that I forgot about, and that is also donations. Donate, recycle, 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 donate, and this is just metal scrap that we're gonna put out to have someone take for scrap. So that was maybe only about 20 minutes and I was able to get this pretty cleared out. It's not perfect, there's definitely still work to be done, but I am happy with that progress so far. That is going to a friend. Um, but yes, all this I'm going to get in my car and get out of the house right away. Every time I do a purge like this, I am encouraged and reminded to be intentional about the things that we are bringing into our home. Thank you all so much for coming along with me today as I decluttered our home. I hope that you were able to declutter and free up some space in yours as well. Let me know down in the comments if you were able to declutter, what you got rid of, how you feel about it. I know that it is literally just a constant practice, at least I know it is for me, with a family that's growing and needs are changing, seasons of life change. It is just a continual process of things come in and things have to go out but again when you do these dedicated every now and then every few months once a year whatever it may be purges it just feels so good our house feels lighter and I feel lighter and it's a great thing so if you are new to my channel be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon take care guys